different things. One, when you're bridging, unless you condition your neck loads, get your head out of your way when you go to bridge. So when you go to bridge over your shoulder, get your head out of the way so that it makes it easier to turn over. I see people bridging here and they're bridging into their own head and they're stopping themselves going where they need to go. So get your head out of your way, bridge up and over. Easy. Uh, Scully, you go sit down, please. Back position. Two, back position. If I'm behind you, if I'm behind you and I got chest to back, try to put something behind yourself that isn't my chest, i.e. the floor, here. If you're getting an angle to get out there, and instead of putting your chest onto the floor, you turn your chest, or chest sorry, instead of putting your back on the floor, you put your chest on the floor, I'm just gonna go with you. And this is a bad position to get stuck in. So once you're turning over, back on the ground, not chest on the ground. Last one, any restriction. I've, just, I've seen this a lot recently, and someone just tweaked the leg with a uh, lockdown. Uh, lockdown if someone has you locked down here, you're very restricted here. Try not to move too much. When you're putting pressure forward, the lockdown he has makes it hard to do so. A lot of times you need to go backwards, usually, to relieve the pressure a little bit. But this is just one example. Anytime you're in a restricted scenario, try to appreciate that that is what's happening. Don't go against it too much and injure yourself. Especially anything that's involving your knee, your neck, or your spine. They're all important, as is a lot of other stuff. But just be careful with your body. Alright, thank you. Quick handshake, that's us. If you want to do 